Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban RB4358 stateside sunglasses. So first off, let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These sunglasses have 58 millimeter lenses and a 17 millimeter bridge. And these sunglasses first came out in the 1970s and Ray-Ban just re-released these sunglasses in 2021. And honestly, I think they look just as good today as they did back in the 1970s. They definitely have a very sporty looking style to them. And back in the 70s, these sunglasses were part of Ray-Ban's sport collection about 20 years before the brand Oakley even existed. Ray-Ban was making sport and utility sunglasses. Probably the most interesting thing about these frames is the styling. As you guys can see here, you've probably never seen anything like this before. I just really like the styling of these frames. They're definitely extremely unique and I still think they look very good in 2021. And as you can imagine, back in the 1970s, this was an absolutely brand new style of sunglasses and people absolutely went crazy over these. Back in the 70s, this style of sunglasses was actually kind of like the Pit Viper style. They were definitely very out there. They were definitely very interesting and polarizing and a lot of people hated them and a lot of people liked them as well. But clearly Ray-Ban has been setting trends for decades and decades and I'm definitely glad they brought this pair of sunglasses back. Now another really interesting part about these frames is their tri-layered frame. So here we can see we have three different layers of nylon here and the front is blue, the middle is white, and then we have this really cool tan on the uh, inside. So that just adds a really cool look to these frames. And then again, taking a look at the uh, bridge here, we can see the little white here from the second layer. It just adds a really cool look to these frames. Of course, like every pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses, they have a painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the sunglasses. And because the sunglasses have Ray-Ban's Evolve lenses, they have a little Evolve logo here in the top left corner of the sunglasses. Now moving down the temples of these frames, we can see a raised Ray-Ban logo that is found in both the right and the left hand side of the sunglasses. Now the sunglasses have very premium and nice all metal hinges. These are five barrel hinges and they feel very good when opening up and when closing them. They just feel very substantial and they don't feel like they're going to break very easily, which is nice. Now the sunglasses also are made in Italy. And they're gonna say that here in the inner right temple sunglasses, they just say Ray-Ban made in Italy. Now probably my main complaint about these frames is they actually aren't nearly as substantial as I would like them to be. They feel a little, you know, bendable. They don't feel really firm like a pair of acetate sunglasses would. And my other really big complaint about these frames is the fact that they actually squeak a lot. So let me put this uh, close to the microphone here. And here we can just hear, you know, a ton of squeaking when moving the sunglasses and kind of twisting them a little bit. And you can even hear that just when opening them up and when closing them, you just hear that little squeaky, plasticky, cheapy sound, which I definitely do not like. It is definitely very disappointing that the quality control wasn't a little bit better on these. That definitely really doesn't feel good at all. It definitely makes them feel very cheap, which is really annoying because sunglasses are not cheap at all. I believe the MSRP of these sunglasses is $191. So very expensive to have poor quality control on these frames. It's very disappointing because I'd really love a very substantial version sunglasses. After all, they are supposed to be a sporty pair of sunglasses that are supposed to, you know, inspire confidence when wearing them. And these really just don't do that because of the poor build quality of my particular pair. Now, I'm not saying that every single pair is going to have that bad quality control like this pair did. I really can't speak for the other thousands of frames that exist. But all I do know is that my pair does not have good quality control, so that's very disappointing. Now, as far as coverage from sun goes, these sunglasses aren't going to offer the best coverage from the sun because they just don't have a good wraparound style to them. So here up top, we can see a very big gap to the sunlight in unprotected. And then here on the side, again, we can see a very big gap to the sunlight in unprotected. So they're not going to be the most practical pair of sunglasses either. Basically the only redeeming thing about these sunglasses is the styling and I absolutely love the styling of these frames so they're more of a prop than they are anything else which is definitely very disappointing but if you guys are interested in picking up these they're gonna be much cheaper on Amazon. I actually picked up my pair for around $130 directly from Amazon so I'm going to leave a link in the description down below if we had to check out these sunglasses directly from 
Amazon. Hope you guys can save a lot of money there and make it worth buying the sunglasses more than paying the full $191 price tag for the sunglasses. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.